In this video, we are going to learn how to measure arrows in CAD Reader, so which include polygon arrow, rectangle arrow, and a polygon arrow with arc. First, open a drawing in CAD Reader. Click on the Measure button, then select a polygon arrow. Left click to select the corner points of the polygon. Right click to finish. Then you get the arrow and the circumference of the polygon. Left click to put the result. When it is a rectangle, you can just use rectangle to measure it. Left click to select the two diagonal points of the rectangle. Right click to finish. Then you get the arrow and the circumference of the rectangle. Note, when measuring a polygon arrow, you have to left click and select at least the three quarter points of the polygon. Then right click to finish. When you get the result, move your mouse and you can select a place to put it. Press the space button on your keyboard. You can take a step back. When measuring a rectangle, you can just left click to select the two diagonal points of it, then right click to finish. When you get the result, move your mouse and select a place, then left click to put it there. When you want to measure a polygon arrow that includes arcs, you can use the feature polygon arc arrow. Select the first point, then the second point. When it comes to an arc, your cursor will become a white square, which means this arc can be selected directly. Left click to select the arc, select the line. If you find something wrong, you can press the space button on your keyboard to take steps back, and then continue the measurement. When reaching the last point of the polygon, you can right-click to finish. It will help to find the contact point. Now you can get the arrow and circumference of this polygon. Let's see some common problems that might happen when measuring the polygon arrow with arcs. First, when selecting the arc, it might pop out a hint. Please select continuous lines. This is because there is a gap between the sections. So now we can first move the mouse along the arc and find the end point of the arc, then select the end point, then select the arc. See, the problem is solved. Secondly, the sections cannot be overlapped, otherwise, when you end this measurement, you will see this arrow hint. The polygon is invalid, please redraw. Then we can press the space button to take this step back and reselect valid sections to complete this polygon. Now you can get the arrow and the circumference of this polygon. Another useful tip is that we can interrupt the arc if we think it is too long. For example, here if we want to measure the arrow of this part, Using the polygon arrow, select the first point, then Cat Reader automatically detects and selects the arc. However, we did not want to select the entire arc. So we can move the mouse and find the point of the intersection where we want to interrupt the arc. And left click, then we can only keep this section. So we can continue and get the arrow of this part.
Notes. Left click to select the end points of lines or the arcs of the polygon. After select all sections of the polygon, right click to finish and then left click to select a place for this result. Press the space button on your keyboard. You can take a step back. Right click helps to complete the polygon section. When selecting an arc, it is better to select an end point of the arc first, then select the entire arc, which can avoid the problems of gaps between the sections. The sections cannot be overlapped or crossed, otherwise there will be an arrow hint. The polygon is invalid, please redraw.